Hi guys, so I am going to be um, cooking uh, my, some vegan tacos with you guys tonight. So um, right now I just, um, I'm going to start cutting up some um, vegetables and everything. So I'm going to let you guys see that part. Hold on one second. Now if it gets a little noisy in here, it's because the TV is on and my grandbaby is here. And she's watching her, her kids show. So um, I'm sorry, I do apologize about that. But I do want to get this video out and um just hold on one second for me while i grab all the stuff that i need to start cutting my veggies okay you guys so i have a uh red um yellow and orange sweet pepper i'm gonna rinse it off real quick and i'm gonna just cut these up um they don't have to be any way particular just um, a decent size so that they could at least get really like nice and soft in a, in a pan because I'm also going to be putting onions and then I'm also going to be um, adding some cilantro as well. I want to cook some cilantro and then I'm going to have some um, some raw cilantro in the pico de gallo that I had purchased from Walmart the other day. And it's okay. It got a few uh, seeds in it right now. This pepper. They only come with a little bit of seeds. I'm not trying to put the seeds, but honestly, it's not going to kill me. So, I'm not about to go back and rinse them off. So, so that's what I'm doing with this. I'm going to cut them up a little bit more. And then here's the orange one. Let me just cut this out now so that way I don't have to worry. But look, the seeds are still there. They being stubborn. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the yellow. And I'm making uh, vegan tacos with veggies and uh, mock beef crumbles. So mock beef crumbles is like uh, fake beef. It looks like it. Um, it sort of has the texture, not quite, sort of, but, um, and it, then it kind of, when you're eating it, it gives you that feel like you're eating meat. So, that's what I'm going to be making with it. So, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm just going to cut up these some, cut up some onion. I have um, grated garlic already. I am addicted to garlic. I don't care if it, how, whichever, which way I get it. I just love it. Let me turn the fire on. I'm going to turn the fire on. And you guys, you're going to see a few gnats. And I do apologize about that. But I had, um, I had to throw out that eggplant, y'all. I put some olive oil down in, down in the pan and right now I'm just going to cut up this onion and I'm going to be cutting up a lot of onion because I absolutely love onions and I'm not going to be putting any mushrooms in here because um, I just don't think I want the mushrooms. I want to save my mushrooms for when I make my roast with my mushroom gravy which I mean I have enough to spare but I, I, I just I don't know for some reason I just don't want the mushrooms in it. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and um, and just do the onions and the peppers, and I'm gonna put some cilantro. See my grandbaby being nosy. Hi. <laughs> Erica, don't have to act as silly like you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add all of these veggies to the pan. Uh, you guys, you can also do it this way like this with no, with, with also with some diced up small potatoes, like you're going to do home fries or something. You can do that. It comes out really good. I want more onions. I love onions. So I'm going to just the rest of this onion. Give it all 
put down nicely. And then I'm going to also have another um, meal that I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to be prepping dinner. Um, not dinner, lunch for um, tomorrow. So I'm going to be making that after I eat my tacos. So I'm going to eat first because I haven't eaten all day. And then I'll come back and I'll record um, me making the... Uh, I'm going to be making some um, pasta alfredo. Vegan style with spinach. Give me one second, you guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So I'm going to add some uh, garlic that I've already put in the food processor and grinded it down. And I use a lot of garlic. You see that? And I put much more than that. I love garlic. So I have that. And then I'm going to do some cilantro. I have this uh, bag of cilantro here. I'm just going to cut some off the top and um, rinse it. I'm going to just rip a, a little bit off, honestly. Okay, I rinsed it off. So now I just need to chop it up a little bit just to get it, you know. Oh, it smells so good. I love cilantro. All right. It's so fresh. It just smells so fresh. And I'm going to put that in there as well. And so once the veggies start to uh, cook down, I'm just going to let them cook down until they get translucent. So... Let me show you what it's looking like. So that's what it's looking like, you guys. So I'm gonna do. You see the fresh garlic. Everything is coming together. It's so colorful and pretty. Just trying to get everything in there nice and soft. Okay, you guys, so this is what I'm using, the Beyond Meat. Um, it is uh, Beyond Beef Crumbles, and it's vegan. And I am going to be using this. I just need to open it up. I'm going to just, and this is what it looks like on the inside. It actually looks like beef crumbles. So, okay, you guys, so this is what the veggies is looking like. I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of the beef crumbles in. Not too much, because I do got the veggies too. So I don't want to pack it with me, because I want to be able to have a balance, you know? This is to give it a little bit of texture, but um, this is what it's looking like. It's coming together real nice. And I just need to put some of the um, taco seasoning. So I have this, which is the taco seasoning mix. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. I want it to taste like tacos, y'all. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water. Doesn't that look good, you guys? It smells so good. It smells just like taco meat. I'm going to put a little bit more because i got to put some water in it. All right. Hold on, you guys. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some water. Just to get it, get that sauce going. That um not sauce the um the taco seasoning going so it could like really marinate into that meat into them veggies. Let it just cook down for a minute or two. Just added some water. That's all, and then I'm um just let it just marinate a little bit. 
All right, that's what it's looking like. Don't that look good, you guys? Nice and fresh and this looks good. And you should smell it. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, you guys. Who says you cannot eat good and be vegan? I'm telling you, that is such a myth. Not true, not true, not true at all. All right, look at that, y'all. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Don't tell me that on the good, y'all. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to come back when I'm putting them together, okay? Hold on. So, you guys, all right, so the meat is simmering down. You can see that the meat is simmering down. I just got finished mixing it up, and that looks so good. I can't wait to make my taco. Um... And then um, this right here is a bowl of cashews, raw cashews that I have soaking in water because I'm going to make me some um, Alfredo sauce with that. And then this right here is my vegan sour cream. So um, this is the brand. Um, and it comes like in a really like a um, like a tofu texture form. It's, um, so I got it like this because I squeezed some lemon in it. I normally squeeze lime. It's really good with the lime, but I didn't have any lime, but I had lemon. So I just cut up a lemon and squeezed some lemon juice in it and it just, and I mixed it up and it made it this consistency, which makes it a little easier for me to put it on my taco. And it also just makes me make it resemble, like it just, um, this texture resembles more of sour cream than with it being, um, and the other, um, without it being solid, pretty much, okay? So, I have the taco shells in the oven. They're toasting up just for, you need to just put it in there maybe one or two minutes. So, I'm just waiting for those to come out. And then, I'm going to put my tacos together. And then, I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and put a taco together for you guys. And um, so, you can see. See, I'm just taking some of the meat. The tacos are nice and toasted. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something my oh do i have any more my vegan shredded cheese hold on you guys i do have some yay so i got my day of vegan shredded cheese um i normally like to put the cheese on at the bottom because i like to put it on so the meat will actually um melt it for me but I totally forgot about the cheese last minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some there. Look how good that looks so far, you guys. Do you see that? All right. Hold on. All right. So I have that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to put some... Um, I like to put my sauce. So I'm using this sauce. Cause I like the sauce on it. I don't like it running like down off of the top of the um, the lettuce and stuff. So I put my sauce. Everybody have their own method of what goes first and what goes last. So do you? Um, I'm gonna do the lettuce. So I just have a bag of shredded lettuce here, and I'm just gonna use some lettuce. Got the lettuce. Look at that. It's looking good, girl. Don't look. Don't lie. Don't it look like Taco Bell? As a matter of fact, I don't even want to say Taco Bell because I don't even like Taco Bell like that. And they tacos are not even that good. Even when I was eating them. I don't know. It's just something about it. But So then I have this from Walmart I bought the other day when I went to Walmart. And um, that's just some pico de gallo. I love that stuff, you guys. Get out of here. See, I told you guys you were going to see some naps. Please don't be talking about my house dirty because my house ain't never dirty. Thank you very much. I happen to have some naps because I keep a lot of fruits and stuff in the house and sometimes they go bad. So, there you go. Thank you. So, here's the pico de gallo. Here's the pico de gallo. I'm putting that on here. Okay. And then I'm going to top it off with the sour cream. So... Here's the sour cream. And then here is, let me turn it around for you guys. Hold on, you guys. Let me turn it around. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. There go that taco. 
did go with that taco. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm singing because I'm hungry. I have not eaten all day. This morning, all I had was I went to Starbucks. I got me a coffee, and then I went to this um, vegan donut shop and got me one donut. So I had one donut and coffee all day. That's it. So I'm excited. And what time is it? It's like nine something, nine fifteen something like that at night. So I'm hungry. And I'm excited and this is the finished product and it's all vegan again who says you can't eat good as a vegan that's a lie look at that 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 it looks so good look at that look at that oh my dog is barking I gotta go you guys all right, you guys, thank you for hanging with me. Look at me, I'm all low in the camera. Thank you guys for hanging with me while I made these vegan tacos for you guys. Um, I only put one together just so that you guys could see it come together. And I'm gonna take a bite so that you can see that I do eat my food, okay? This is just that one, but I'm gonna make my other two after I'm done with this one. And it just, again, it just looks so good and I just thank God for it. Um, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal. I, pr I pray that it's blessed by you, Father. I pray that you bless the cook, and I pray that it's nourishing to my body. I thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Y'all see how I threw in there, bless the cook, because I cooked it. I'll be wanting two blessings out of my prayers. Out of my um prayers. Thank you. But um, I'm just going to taste it for you real quick. And then I'll see you guys again on my next cooking video. I'm going to be making some uh, pasta Alfredo and some spinach, you guys. All right. Mm. That's good. Oh, that's so good. All right, you guys. I'm going to eat my tacos. Good night. Okay, you guys, so I made the last two tacos. Just wanted to show it to you. Made the last two tacos. I'm about to tear it up. Again, see you guys on my next um, video. Have a good night.